It's really impossible to think of a way to introduce my guest. I have written several introductions and teared them up, uh, torn them up. <laughs> uh, torn them up or teared them up, depending on. Here I am in England making mistakes in English. But if I were to list every uh, performance that he's given, uh, it would take the evening. And if I were to list, uh, well, it would take about 45 minutes. I actually figured it out. If I added uh, his successes as a director and manager, it would take another 40 minutes, I suppose. And all the honors and awards would take even longer. And I could also write a book about what his work has meant to me personally, just as a, uh, as a member of the audience. Instead of doing any of that, let's just remind ourselves of a few of his many faces. First as Hamlet, Oedipus, as Henry V in the unforgettable film of the same name, Macbeth by one of your playwrights, Richard III, incredible mouth and nose there. Look at this, as Othello, and both on stage and screen, Archie Rice uh, in The Entertainer. And now he's at the uh, National Theater, his own theater, appearing in Long Day's Journey into Night. And there's how he looks in that. Charles Lawton, after seeing him as Henry V, asked him if he knew why he was so good in the role. And uh, he said no. And Lawton said, because you are England. Um, I don't know that there may have ever been another actor that you could say anything like that about. He is unquestionably uh, the greatest actor of our time. Some people say of all time, and all I can do now to introduce him is to say, Laurence Olivier. knowing uh, what to call you, and I, I've been worrying about this and tossing in my yeah. sleep, and I know the various titles are, are confusing to an American. How, how can me, we handle it? Me too. It? If you'd call me Larry and I could call you Dick, it's, it's better. Much better. You want me to call you Larry? Yes. <laughs> uh, that, that won't be easy, but I will, I yes, will try. Yes, it's much the best. Thank you. I've always thought Sir Richard would be rather nice on my part. But, uh, <laughs> I yes. suppose that's asking a bit much. Oh, well, I'll uh, fix it. It's perfectly all right. Okay. I, I had heard that you resisted somewhat the idea of being made a lord. Um, yes. can, can you explain that? And, and yes. if they, in fact, ask you if you want to be one, I, that surprised me. Yes, yes, um, they did. And mm -hmm. um, I, felt, uh, I felt a bit uncomfortable about it. Um, I felt that uh, it would, as it were, in the mind and eye of the public and of my profession, put me sort of as it were, a little out of touch or something silly like that. And I didn't want to look strange or, or, uh, or feel that people regarded me in any strange way mm -hmm. as being anything apart from either the man in the street or from everybody in my profession. And so I resisted it for a long time. And uh, not very long, I mean, two or three years, something like that. Yeah. And uh, also there was something about the title itself that worried me slightly. I, I thought that uh, Sir Richard or, or Sir anything else like that was rather nicely romantic uh, and um, it seemed chivalrous and gallant and all sorts of nice things like that. And I thought that Lord, um, apart from the awkward thing about footmen and people <laughs> saying, my Lord, this and that, it sounded funny for, uh, to me. Uh, and. Uh, made me feel a little bit self-conscious, and also had a, a, a slight aura of the New Testament in which I find myself most grossly miscast. <laughs> <laughs> and so it, I find it rather difficult. And then I said, could you, if you were very sweet and want to give me anything, can you give me anything? I mean, anything at all, two, two le three letters after, anything. I'd love anything, but, but not that. And they said, well, that's fine, but you mustn't forget whatever else we gave you would do nobody any good but yourself. And if we make you a member of the House of Lords, which is only like being made an honorary senator, as it were, mm -hmm. uh, you can do some good for other people. 
You can plead some causes you might feel strongly about. You can get up and we want you to have a forum. We want your profession to have a forum. Well, that line of talk put an entirely different complexion on it for me. And so, uh, ultimately, I thought, well, thanks very much. So I, I said, yeah. I'm glad you took it. Do you find that people do those have a moment of, of stammering when they meet you and, uh, and not know whether, which title to call Don't you? Don't not here, and no, certainly not in this country. Yeah. No. Uh, um, most people yeah. call me um, Larry. <laughs> Does anyone call you Sir Larry? Yes, a lot of people do. I rather like that. It makes me feel popular. <laughs> and, uh, I like it. Um, I couldn't have them in the theatre call me Lord or anything. I mean, that wouldn't be mm -hmm. possible because it's all very well when somebody knocks at your dressing room door and says, your call, Sir Lawrence, but your lordship's call is a bit <laughs> different. And it's, so we don't allow it in the theatre and we don't allow it in the office. We don't allow it among anybody who's ever met me before, as a matter of fact. Okay. And uh, I, think, I think the American habit of Christian names is very good and very charming and very healthy and splendid. First names. And that's what I like. Yes, that's what I like. Okay. I, I have to ask you this. Is this your own nose? <laughs> yes. It is? Yes. Do you, you know why I ask? I, for years, they've always said you've never played a role with the same nose, to the no. point where no one, who, except those who knew in your private life, knew what your real nose <laughs> looked like. And, uh, no. They've all been so convincing on the screen, all the noses I've seen you with, that I, <laughs> I just thought much. I'd be sure that this was... Yes, in, this is the, yes, there's fact, nothing added to it. The this. Olivier no. Nose. Yes, this is my nose. <laughs> okay. Um, you, we're talking about the title being something that gave dignity, uh, in a way, to the acting profession, at least it's been spoken of that way. And it's strange to think that there was a time when actors were the lowest form of society, yeah. in this country, even. Rogues and vagabonds. That's right. Up That's until, right. I think, about 1880. Are they respectable enough now? Uh, oh, yes, they're about the most respectable people there are now. Yeah. And isn't there still one hotel in London that won't accept actors? I've been told there is. Uh, I, think it's the, um, I think it's the Ritz. I may be wrong. I don't I may think be slandering so. the hotel. No, I don't think so. I think, I think there's one in Newcastle. Oh. 